What's going on everyone? Welcome again to another T-Series Showcase. For today, I have another blank box that is clearly from the band box because there is a shortage of boxes out there right now. So, uh, so far from BAM, I've gotten the anime box and I've gotten the geek box. So this is either gamer or horror. If it's horror, the franchises are The Fly with Jeff Goldblum, uh, Sidious, and then just Stephen King. If it is gamer... The theme or franchises are NBA Jam, or, uh, Street Fighter, Double Dragon, and Kingdom Hearts. And if it's Kingdom Hearts, the uh, logo they had was for Kingdom Hearts 3. So, without further ado, we're going to get into this one uh, and see what we have. Some paper. Well, first and foremost, the box is very, very flat. Uh... Not much going to be in here. So I don't know what we're going to have, but we're going to get into it. All right. So I can see the back of the uh, art card. This is the horror box. It's not gamer. All right. So we're going to start off with the BAM scratch ticket. Uh, again, to win, match the three symbols together, or you get an instant win symbol. And then instructions on the back. Let's start with the middle one. Why not? Look at that. A free flat screen TV. And just like that, unless I get an instant symbol, I lose. There you go. That's what it looks like. Haven't won one yet. I heard some people have one, but what can you do? All right. Horror box. So let's start off with the art card per usual. BAM Horror, congratulations. This is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. Artist Alley Artist. This card is part of this year's Villain Series. So, excited about villains. Featured artist is Othel Flowers. This is number 1,134 out of 2,500. There is that. Um, I have no idea because this isn't any of the themes. So, okay. I like the art first and foremost. That is from House of a Thousand Corpses. That is Captain Spaulding. Very neat. And I, I do, like I said, in the previous ones as well, I like how these are actually, like, you can tell they were hand-drawn this time, or inked, or whatever you want to say, instead of computerized. I like how these are going right now. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, pretty good movie. Very, very weird, in my opinion, but it's good. Uh, obviously, most people know Captain Spaulding. He's kind of one of those iconic horror uh, icons. Not bad. All right, so now we got uh, Sinister... And then, what I say, The Fly and Stephen King. However, Stephen King's a spoiler because I know I'm pretty sure it is the art print because they are doing what they did with the classic Universal Movie Monsters where it's going to be multiple art prints over across a few boxes. So this pin is either from Sinister or The Fly. So here we go. That is from The Fly. That is just Jeff Goldblum. That's awesome. Uh, so it's just... It, 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 it's a Jeff Goldblum pin at this point. Uh, from the fly. That's kind of neat. It's not the uh, any limited one. It just says this is a limited pin. As in, it's not the uh, 250 or the uh, 99 or the 50. Uh, as you can tell, there's nothing on the back there. If it was one of the limited ones, it would have a lower number on the back. But it doesn't. But Jeff Goldblum. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Uh, they have done something a little differently because there's no prop. I just grabbed the wrong thing. There's no uh, prop, but they have done something a little different to start. So we have Dynamite, a comic. This is number one. Uh, one of five. Chave Van Letty. Cargo Mason, Diaz, lots of French looking names, but these are your, uh, if you will, props this month. Uh, I'm guessing with the, the exception of the gamer box, but this is a horror comic by the looks of it. Um, okay. Neat. I'm sure we'll find out more about that in a little bit. Uh, I got the auto and I got the art print. So here's the art print. It says, BAM Authentic, Certificate of Authenticity. This BAM fan art print is from our fan art collection. It is exclusive to BAM. 
the band box and has been hand signed by the artist. It is guaranteed to be authentic. Artist and print tag can be verified at bamauthentic.com using corresponding number. That is what that looks like on the back. So these should be Stephen King. So here we go. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's totally Stephen King. Wow. Okay, so I have 1705 out of 2200. Um, let's see what I can get. I got Carrie, uh, Christine, Langoliers. I know that one. That's a good movie. Uh, obviously, it. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I'm drawing a blank on some other ones. I think that's The Mist, Cujo. But yeah, that's really cool. Uh, hand signed by the artist right there. Very neat. Now, I thought this was supposed to be across a few different boxes. I guess maybe it's not. Maybe it's just this one. Uh, but I guess we'll have to wait and see until next month. But this is a really cool art print. I really like this one. All right. Last is the BAM paper. No. Uh, last is the autograph which is going to be from Sinister. A very, very good movie, in my opinion. Uh, first one, obviously, ten times better than the second one. Um, and actually, that's one of my uh, go-to horror movies that I'll watch every so often. Um, but it, it, I'll, I'll just say this. If you're kind of paying attention to it, kind of not just having it on the background, The Lawnmower. That's all I need to say is The Lawnmower, and everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, so here is the Beckett's authentication right there on the back uh god so many characters in this movie uh al ghul would be awesome who's the main villain but we'll find out in one two three that's al ghul or bal ghul bal ghul is that actually him is that his autograph because if that is that's amazing uh bagul not al ghul why do i think al ghul all right if that's his actual autograph i'm gonna be hyped because that is an amazing autograph to have. Uh, I'm going to do this first because this has been a thing. So this is the BAM Box Presents February Horror Box Giveaway. Number 13, Jason Voorhees Jersey. Uh, Ari Lemon. Lemon? Lehman? I don't know. Jason for Friday 13th. Sign Jason Voorhees Jersey. How do you win this? You post a picture of your favorite item using hashtag the BAM Box. So that's for me. I just gotta, you know, do that. Anyway, here we go. There's this. Bam Horror. January 2021. It's a new year and we're celebrating five years of the Bam Box. We never would have made it this far. Uh, never made it this far without your help. So we wanted to say thank you. For this year's anniversary box, we went all out to bring you things that would make every horror fan giddy. Including the beginning of the newest art set which we've done. Uh, we can't wait to see, blah, blah, blah. We can't wait to hear what you think. Okay, so I'm going to go across the bottom here and just show you the level ups, which the pins are obvious on the fly. Comics are just a little different. I can't really tell. Oh, it's Dr. Satan from House of a Thousand Corpses. And the art print, it just looks like the car from Christine is on fire. So I didn't get that. All right, so we're going to start with the comic. Comic. Uh, prop item. This month, we are sending out limited comics from Dynamite, home of some of the hottest comic artists today. Possible grabs are from Vampirella, Chaos, Reanimator, and others. These are out of print and highly collectible. So I have the one that's actually, like, right on the front right there. So this is Dynamite. So it's supposed to be Dynamite, but... Okay. Uh, neat, I guess. Next up is going to be the fan art card, or art select card. It says, this year, we are proud to bring you villains from all of our favorite franchises. And to start this year, professional artist Othel Flowers has brought us villains from Rob Zombie. Most of you will see Captain Spaulding, which is the standard, or Dr. Satan, which is the variant, and a few will receive a one-of-a-kind sketch cards from other villains. So it doesn't say what that is. I have no idea. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, collector's pin, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, David Cronenberg's remake of The Fly in 1986 made Jeff Goldblum a household name 
and horrified audiences with grotesque transformations of a man to a giant pest. That is very true. This month, Ali Cat Graphics. Ali Cat Graphics brings us a tribute to the unforgettable metamorphosis of the stunning pin. Most of you will receive the human Goldblum, uh, Seth Brundell. This one. Uh, while others will get a limited half man, half fly of 250, or a full fly of 99 or of 50. So you can see the transformation from Rego Goldblum to half to full. Finally, the celebrity autograph right here. There are a few movies this century that left us as many nightmares as sinister. The main reason for those nightmares is, of course, a horrific. Bao Ghoul or Mr. Boogie. So I said Al Ghoul, Bao Ghoul. I was close enough, okay? I'm sorry. Bao Ghoul. Also known as the Child Eater and brother of Moloch, Bao Ghoul is one of the best horror villains ever to grace the big screen, and we are thrilled to bring you the man behind the ghoul, Nick King. So, yes, this is Bao Ghoul. This is amazing. Uh, I gotta put this up on the wall somewhere. Um, at 31, King still has a long career ahead of him and already is known for his work in Sinister, The Green Hornet, Midnight Special, and The Fantastic Four. I don't know The Fantastic Four. Um, those are the other ones you could have got. I got the one where he's carrying the girl away at the end of the movie. Spoiler, sorry, but they've been out for a while. That one would have been awesome. The one that just is Sinister and the one just as Balgul would be awesome as well. But no matter what, I'm just happy I got this. Uh, this is a really cool autograph right here. Uh... And yeah, that's this one. Okay, so per usual, we're going to do my little ranking system here of best to worst. Um, worst to best. That's the one. Uh, at number five is not the art card, but it's going to be the comic. Only because the comic is cool. I, I'm a comic collector. Um, if you've ever seen a couple of my other videos, you see my wall of comics in the background for, you know, over here, over there, and in the background over there. But um, just certain ones I collect, I, you know, just random ones I'm not huge on. So uh, number five, I'm still debating if I keep the comics this month or not, if they're out of print. Number four is going to be the art card. Uh, this is actually a really cool one. Um, again, House of a Thousand Corpses is cool. I like the movie. It still is weird to me. I don't know, really. I, uh, it's there. I, I do enjoy this, but I don't know if I will keep it or not. I'm still on the fence about it. Number three is the Jeff Goldblum pin. Uh, it's nice. It's cool. I, lo I love Jeff Goldblum as an actor. Just for me, if you didn't know that this was part of like, the Transformation series of the pins, or if you got one of the other two, you'll know it's from the fly. This is, this is just Jeff Goldblum being, well, Jeff Goldblum. He could be looking up at a T-Rex right now. Uh, that being said, it's a Jeff Goldblum pin. I can't be uh, mad about that. Number two is this fantastic Stephen King print. Um, this thing is amazing. I can't stop looking at it just because I, you know, love almost everything about this. Um, yeah, this this might end up going in a frame as well, honestly. Like, oh, pretty sure that's Pet Cemetery. That's her sister. I think I could be wrong. Anyway, but this is an amazing art print. Uh, the artist did a phenomenal job on this. And of course, I, I freaked out about it. The, the Baogul. This is number one. This is amazing. Because this is, like I said, one of my favorite newer horror movies I'll watch constantly. If you don't freak out about the lawnmower, then I don't know what's wrong with you. But people are going to wonder, what the heck's he talking about with lawnmower? And they're just going to watch the movie with no context. And they're going to just wait there and be like, oh, look, a lawnmower. And then they're going to freak out. If you haven't seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about when it happens. And then you can comment saying, yeah, it scared me. All right. So that's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Ring that notification bell. That way you know where I post a new video. More importantly, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me. And it also, you know, helps you get into that 100 subscriber giveaway. Uh, to enter into that, subscribe to the channel first and foremost. But comment below what your favorite item in this box was. Was it... The art card, the pin, the comic, the signature, the fan art print. To show the comic. There it is. Um, because when you comment below, that's how I keep track of who entered into the contest. We're a few subscribers away from getting into it. But we're almost there. Uh, check out the links below to different des uh, descriptions. Check out the description below for various links. That's the word. For the band box, for example. 
to Zobi to a few other places, as well as the T-Series Showcase eBay page, where items that I don't regularly keep end up on there. Uh, however, with this box, I pretty much loved almost everything in this box. To the last gamer box, need to blow this thing out of the water in order for this not to be my favorite box this month. And you also see uh, the T-Series Collectibles eBay page, which is my business, where you can find items such as, for example, this Grand Admiral Thrawn Black Series figure. Yeah, stuff like that's on my uh, personal business page. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this box as much as I did. This is fantastic. And I will see you all in the next video.